Welcome my beautiful Capricorns and all watchers and cross watchers. My name is Donna. We are here to do a four part love reading. It is time stamped below. We're going to jump into this reading and clarify the overall energy Capricorn in your reading is the two of wands. You're at a crossroads. You want more adventure in your life. You want more zest, more excitement. You're very tired of always having your nose to the grindstone, but you are Capricorn, so you're a powerful manifester. So the Two of Wands is clarified by the Heart of Swords. Head over heart decision, the Libra Queen. The Two of Wands is Aries energy, taking action. The Five of Swords, you're going to win at all costs, even if you have to sort of fudge a little bit here. So the Five of Swords says that you are on a mission for a better life and relationship. In the recent past, the energy between you and your person, Sagittarius energy, a reconciliation of people who are soulmates. A reconciliation, temperance card, balancing things out. You're very much, it looks like your person may have hurt you with the Five of Swords or done something a little sketchy. And you're definitely on the lookout because the energy right now that we're seeing for the two of you is we do get the Fiery Queen of Wands. You know, the passion, there's no lack of passion. But we do get uh, very much the energy that the two of you are spying on each other. You're not necessarily being forthcoming there's some sort of fear the passion is easy the uh, the question about what's going on though underneath the surface is a little troublesome with that seven of swords it can mean that you're just not being honest with each other we get the devil energy now that explains something doesn't it the devil energy is the energy of feeling really obsessed and it is coming from your person capricorn you are not although this is capricorn energy you know devil energy so your person is very much playing games, playing it cool, using the big chess game, uh, excuse me, chess piece to play a game that allows them to win at all costs. You're very aware of that. They're very strategic. And both of you are incredibly attracted to, to each other. And you are soulmates. So the devil energy is when there's toxicity. I find the average way or the, the most common way that the devil energy shows up is one person trying to control everything, whether it's subtle or not so subtle. Why do you guys, what, what is the queen of wands here with the seven of swords? Please tell us. Nine of Swords energy. Both of you are very worried about the integrity of your ability to remain faithful in relationship. What we're seeing here is it looks like both of you or one of you, however it resonates, remember it's general, um, there's just this feeling of a total lack of trust. Like, you know, there's been lies that have been revealed. And so in coming back together with this energy, it's very curious as to what's going on. It does look like your person's holding back. They're holding back the fact that they feel confused. They're not able to really come up with it, what they think is a feasible plan. Um, that's Pisces energy, six of coins. Your person's very worried about equal give and take in this connection, Capricorn. But the lover's card, look at that. The lover's card and the lover's card. Major arcana, Gemini. Minor arcana, Cancer. So your person is pretty much hell-bent on making this work, even though it looks very messy right now. The two of you have a lot to work out here, Capricorn. The two of coins says that your person thinks that they view you as someone who maybe just doesn't want the relationship and doesn't want to give them another chance. They view you as someone who has juggled two people, two different lovers possibly. Uh, there is a there is a, a likelihood here that for some of you this is going to be a twin flame type relationship, soulmate relationship in which there is a third party because juggling two is how they see you Capricorn and that's Capricorn energy. So they see you as being a person who is willing to betray them, to uh, not really choose them. And so we have their reaction. They also see you as giving up the burden of trying. So Capricorn, this may be a person, you know, we look at this energy of the outcome, the Eight of Cups. 
you know, you're at this crossroads and you are definitely going to make a decision based on truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And if your person can't produce that, I just see you being willing to give it up. So for many of you, this could be the harbinger of a breakup, but we'll see. The Knight of Cups, this is Piscean energy, but the Knight of Cups is not the energy of steady commitment. It shows that your person has upgraded. It looks like they're doing well. They come in with a big bouquet of roses. They definitely see you as a person, Capricorn, with this Virgo energy, as someone who would be wealthy, that they could have an abundant life with. And that may be, that might, might really be a huge issue with you. Um, the energy of the Two of Swords, what they don't want to look at, what they don't want to talk about, is a spirit of wands, king of wands energy, the two of swords. Wow, not wanting to talk about their own pride, their own desire to control. They don't want to discuss the fact that they want to be the leader in this relationship. Well, Capricorn, you're pretty much of a leader always. So tell us more about what this person is just refusing to talk about. The sun card. Oh, they don't want to tell you how much they love you. They don't want to tell you how much they find you sexy, amazing, the, the fact that you're very exciting to them. We had the queen of uh uh, the queen of fire the queen of wands under here they see you as the the king of fire the happiest place on earth it's not disneyland my friends we have the two of swords though your person is not telling you how they feel they are holding back holding back so tell us how they do feel capricorn tell us how your person feels let's what is that they're keeping their love for you to themselves cancerian nurturing energy Ah, the two of coins. So your person's trying to hold back to sort of force a decision in which you're choosing them. They are not telling you what they think you want to hear. The ten of cups, they're not telling you that you have a lot of power. You have the power to be the leader in this relationship. They see you as such, but they feel as though telling you that would give you an unfair advantage in this relationship. So that when we get the emperor energy, we do see a person, especially emperor with the devil card, which we had here as the first clarifier. We see somebody who really wants to be in control. And Capricorn, it's not really your nature to allow that, to be honest with you. The hair font is what's hidden between the two of you is it looks like one of you are married or you're married to each other and struggling, however it resonates. You know, we see this, the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups. Your wish is to have a happy marriage. It does come true. Both of you are feeling very much that way. The Four of Swords spirit is telling you that you need to heal your heart from some sort of catastrophe with somebody who might be younger or might be less experienced in life. The spirit is saying, be very practical, take care of yourself. Release that which does not serve you and release anyone who doesn't love you. Wow, okay. So spirit is very, very settled in what it thinks you should do. And it definitely speaks as, you know, to the fact that, you know, you can manifest new love and this doesn't have to be the person. Choose, choose something that's healthy is what spirit is saying. So the eight of cups is the two of you separating and the Oh, look at that. Leaving something behind, though. It doesn't necessarily mean the two of you are separating, but it does say that one of you is walking towards the what they feel is wish fulfillment or the ship in the harbor. So let's see what if this is you. What is your energy in this situation with the Eight of Cups? How do you respond to the Eight of Cups, Capricorn? The Eight of Coins. Oh, Okay. You're kind of okay if they leave, if they choose someone else. Your, you know, your your feeling is eight of cups, eight of wands. You will move forward with your life, head over heart decision. That will be your choice. Let's see why the five of swords is here. Yep, spirit of swords, head over heart decision. You're totally, you're totally good with this. If this person can't come to you right. You are, you're just fine walking away. You are walking away into a better future. And the Eight of Cups, your person is walking away. And what are they walking away from? We have, they're walking away from being possessive of you. They're trying to come in and win you by moving forward and healing the relationship. 
and we see the three of swords there we go third party situation i kind of knew it i knew that was going to come out at some point so it does look like capricorn you or your person is in third party situation you're really comfortable walking away from this although it is there is a divine love here so it's um you know the love story for this week for you at this time um is simply that you're willing to walk away. We're going to look at your best course of action and see if spirit agrees with that walking away idea, whether that's good. We will look at helps and hindrances and also what your person likes best about you. But your person's very controlling, and I never like the devil with the air, with the emperor. I, I always I just think it's bad juju. All right, groundhog spirit. Time to let go let go okay open to infinite possibility walking away into this whole area or energy of leaving them behind you know dropping them on their head they've lied they you know you feel as though they've sort of stolen your happiness you love them but you're not going to allow anybody to come in and be toxic with you see the big picture and you are so you know you're very you're very powerful here very powerful you're very much looking at the fact that if someone can't come right, then you're, you have no issue with it. It's like they made their choice. I'll make mine. You know, you've done a lot of healing. You're in a great place. What else does sacred destiny have to say? First light, beginning a new cycle. There you are. That walking away energy, moving away into something much better. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering or showing up in your life. Let's look at your helps and hindrances and see what spirit is advising you to sort of, it's a heads up sort of moment here. What are the help or the hindrances at this time coming into your transition? All right, quieting the mind. Nice energy that you're able to do that. The body and soul, you are very connected to your inner spirit at this time. You know what's good for you. And smoke and mirrors, right? You're just you're just gonna step away. Yeah, it's all about the fact that you are not going to really invest in anybody who has a whole side secret or what they think is a secret agenda. So let's look and see what they like best about you. I don't know if you're interested at this point with the reading. Yours is the only one that came up like this. But we have the Ace of Swords. Well, they respect you. They respect you for being a truth teller. The Moon card is they have some fear of you. They fear that you are seeing the worst of them. They think the world of you, Capricorn. Well, that's to be expected. That's, you know, you're worthy of it. Five of Wands, they feel as though you've put them in a competitive situation. But, you know, they also like the fact that you are you can have an argument with anybody and it doesn't have to turn into something too serious. They like the fact that you're willing to debate. The Queen of Pentacles energy, they see you. There's Capricorn energy. is very nurturing, very kind, very reliable. If you say you're showing up on Tuesday at 2, you do. The King of Cups energy, they see you as very balanced emotionally, somebody who knows how to weather the storm and love very deeply. The Death card, they see you as a person who's able to transform them, their lives. They see you as Phoenix rising from the ashes. They have high regard for you. The Six of Swords, they see you as somebody who's moving on without them, without a problem. They do understand it. And the two of coins, the reason is, is that it appears that they juggled you or there was juggling in the relationship that hurt it. So if you like the format, if you like the way I did the reading, if you find it helpful, please leave a comment. Tell me where you're from. I would love to know. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Irish Donna signing off. Hope to see you soon in another video, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye-bye.